Okay guys, uh, here, I'm back here with a um, beginner's guide um, 2013 structure deck, or, I'm sorry, starter deck, and uh, in this video, I did a video before on monsters, and in this video I'm going to be doing um, about the spells, alright? So really I'm just going to be reading off of this, and if you have one, then I'll just be reading off of these couple pages right here, alright? So, uh, and I'll be explaining stuff that's not... Uh, 100% um, straight up. So, how to play a spell. Play a spell from your hand um, to your spell and trap cards. So right here, if you had a spell card, um, like let's say you had, sure, the warrior returning alive. If you had the warrior returning alive in your hand, here, let's get a better image on that. Warrior returning alive from your hand. Um, you go ahead and play it in your spell and trap card zone, and then you're allowed to add a warrior from your graveyard to your hand. So um, you'd find in your your graveyard a maybe like a Zubaba knight who is a warrior, and uh, so you'd go ahead and add him from the graveyard to your hand. Um, so he'd become in your hand. So that's like a normal one right there. That's just how to play a spell. Um, you, of course, you follow the instructions on the card, and then you put the card in the graveyard after you are done. Let's move this box. Alright, so, uh, coming back to this. Note that some spells may remain on the field after you use them. Alright, so some spells uh, remain. Those are called continuous spells, or equip, maybe, uh, depending on what it is. But here's an example of a continuous spell. Here, I'll bring it up. It's the A-Forces. Um, here, let's focus in on that. So all warrior type monsters you control gain 200 attack for each warrior or spellcaster type in you control. Um, of course, you can tell it's continuous by the little um, like infinity sign um, right here in the corner. The warrior returning alive uh, did not have one of those. So this is just an uh, easy way to tell which one's continuous and which is not. So um, and looking in on the other side right here, on this page, it actually tells you which one is which with their little symbol. So, like, continuous right there, and um, focusing on that. And then, like, equip and quick play will have that little lightning bolt. And field spell um, will go actually in your field spell card zone, and it'll have like a little that symbol. And that's a trap. So, you'd have You'd have the A forces maybe as your um, so you're just playing that from your hand instead of um, going to the graveyard it stays in your spell and trap card zone until it is destroyed. All right, um, you can play as many spells as you want during your turn. So yeah, that's really it um, on the spells. Uh, other than equip, equip uh, you just follow the instructions once again. Um, it'll say what to do. Like, equip only to a face-up XC monster. So you'd have to have, let's say you had Utopia on the field. Um, using XC unit, you would equip it um, so it'd be, like, next to it in the spell and trap card zone. And um, you'd gain whatever XC unit's effect is. So uh, those are the three types of spell. Oh, other than Double or Nothing, which is a uh, quick play spell. Quick play spells you're allowed to play from your hand while it's on your turn. Or if you set them, you're allowed to play them during your opponent's turn. Uh, these two you could not activate during your opponent's turn. But uh, quick, uh, quick plays like double or nothing um, with a little lightning bolt right there, you are allowed to play. So yeah, um, that's that's gonna be it. Thank you, and I'll be coming next episode with traps.